Okay, attempt number two. I filmed half of this video and realized I hadn't pressed the button. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here today? We have my old Singer 15 sewing table, uh, which was previously on this electric motor. And there's the light kit with the original cloth covered danger danger wiring <laughs> so glad we won't be running on this anymore uh, a couple years ago i bought the electronic foot pedal which you can see has the replacement light motor uh, plug-ins um, and uh, that worked really well i did that because i was doing free motion embroidery on this machine and this machine originally came with this friggin' knee pedal, which is not, yeah, you, it's so hard to control when you're doing free motion embroidery. I couldn't do it. It was driving me crazy. I never liked it to begin with, but then when free motion started happening in my life, that was just something that had to go. So uh, you can see I've pulled uh, the machine out of the table. Um, and the reason I've done that is because I have acquired this beautiful tape I can't believe I just put uh, brand new bottles of cold juice on there that was crazy okay let's not do that um, all right so uh, this treadle table now houses my singer 1588 um, and is in the process of conversion and there's a couple things that need to happen uh, first thing is uh, you can see this big gaping hole over here, there. Um, and what needs to go in there is this uh, metal, it, this is called the lift assist plate, which is actually on a, a spring, a big hefty spring uh, thing in there. You can see how that works. And what this does is the weight of the machine actually sits on this pin and on this ledge and that's uh, and then is uh, connected at the back here with hinge pins which I have put into the new table um, and I need this plate because when I got this table that plate was missing. Um, and I won't uh, get into the shameful reasons why, but uh, I think any of you who have done a conversion can guess. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up there. So the problem is <clears throat> this plate has one hole and is designed for these two wires for the motor and the light to go through the hole and then go down here and plugged in into there. Um, and you might hear a little doggy panting right now. She's a little crazy because she's been trying to hunt rabbits, but that's who's panting right now. Um, so anyway, because this is now uh, no longer being used for the electric, it actually needs to accommodate um, the belt that is going to drive this machine. And you can see the old belt here. There will be a new longer belt that goes in here and will go down the hole here and here to connect onto this big wheel which turns and that's what powers the machine but you can see this lift assist plate only has the one hole and needs a second hole so i have to take this whole mechanism out of this table and then i have to take this to a machinist who is going to very gingerly try to drill the second hole for me here um, so that I can make this 
thing work. And I'm gonna have to take some diagrams to him and some photographs of operational machines so he can see how that whole mechanism will work with this. So that's the big project today. Um, and there will be more to come on that. Um, I have another machine build in the works, which I will also be making a video about. I am waiting on parts for both of these things. So other than this lift assist plate on this machine, this wheel here, you can see it's solid right here. And it's about the same size as uh, the guard uh, here. Uh, I had to order the new one which is actually a reproduction of an old one. And that hand wheel is bigger around. So it comes up to about here, I think. And it's not solid here, it's a spoked hand wheel. And it has uh, more torque on it, I guess, to um, better, it works better with uh, the big wheel down there. So um, waiting on that part uh, for this build. And um, what else did I wanna show you? Oh yeah, the original hinge pins, which I took out of the other table. And you can see they're in, they're in, the, in the machine, in the machine, but you can see there's a gap here. The reason it's like that is because I have this machine is, um, sitting on top of the table because there's really nothing holding everything together right like I need this and that pin this <laughs> and that pin to hold uh, the machine into the table now if I flip it back <clears throat> you can see this part of the table opens up so that I can access it for oiling and cleaning and all of that kind of stuff and then also accessing where the belt comes through and goes down. Now the difference here with this one is that there's no ledge here like there is here on this and I may actually need a ledge there uh, because there's there isn't anything else so the only thing that will actually be holding the machine in is the pin on this lift assist plate and those two uh, hinge pins over there and I don't think it's enough so I may have to affix something uh, to the underside of the table that juts out a little bit that allows the table to kind of recess down and sit in that opening. So that's this project. And then the other project has to do with this crazy machine, which I also have parts ordered for and we'll be making another video about that. So there it is over here at April and Channing Handmade. And um, yeah, got some things going on. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons and all of that good stuff. And send me comments because I like talking back to you guys. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day.